Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, oops, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ow, what's up, Saggy baby, what's popping in the life of a Sag between now and the end of April, <laughs> are you guys focusing on your abundance, focusing on your freeing yourself from mindsets, people's perceptions, people's fucking opinions, and just saying fuck all that dumb shit, <laughs> <laughs> hey boo hey if this is your first time watching my channel i'm mocha also if this is your first time viewing my channel look out i cuss i may cuss a little may cuss a lot just depending on what the hell these cards say oh but i'm a cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on youtube that can further assist you without cussing because me how i'm set up i'm gonna do that all right you guys thank you for all the likes the shares the subscribes i truly appreciate it to the uh new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we live dysfunctional over here we don't fight and fuss however we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do cuss we grow we share we love we evolve we enlighten one another okay this is simply a general reading it is not going to resonate with everybody if you need a personal that information can be found below within the description uh to my returning subscribers Samalia, what's popping gang gang what's up what it is though uh, what's up can the statues just tell me what's up can y'all can y'all tell me what's up what's up Sagi? how y'all doing <laughs> So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Sagittarius between now and the end of April. And as we're going to get right on into these intuitive messages, okay? All right, so what I got for my Saggy babies was karmic debt, balance, fearless, reconciliation, psychic, dreams, ancestral. Soul union, synchronicities, just do it. <laughs> Nike on the beach, throat chakra, childhood wounds, mother, medicine man, investments, surprises, fortune, shady partnership, seek second opinion, stalker, investigator, fix it. Fatal attraction, travel, lies, forgiveness, health, releasing, confidence, healthy business. Okay? So if any of those intuitive messages did resonate with you, Sagittarius, let's talk about it. Okay? So your angel message for the month, you guys, comes from... Archangel Jermio. You guys got life review. It says take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay. So I definitely feel this Jupiter in retrograde for Sagittarius is beautiful when it comes to expansion in you guys' life, but it's not so beautiful when it comes to uh things kind of coming in and returning. I definitely feel the energy of return, return. And I'm also feeling this energy energy of like you guys kind of like looking out, like you know, looking like on looking on like both sides of your car and shit, like who driving by. Like you guys have this very heightened aware like you guys are really, really, really trusting your instinct during this time. I'll say that. You guys, there may be um, a conversation or some type of communication that's had during this time. And I definitely feel like it's going to actually be the beginning of some type of expansive period in your life. For some of you all, this has to be around your life purpose. Some of you guys are communicators or some of you guys may be receiving some type of an offer, uh, some type of offer or some type of opportunity to be some type of like public speaker or some type of like the face for some type of um, like some type of contractual agreement for being like the face of a company or the face of a product or some form of a public speaker. For some of you all, this has to do with like philosophical knowledge. Some of y'all also been receiving esoteric information when it comes to your dreams. I definitely feel like this has to do with ancestral ties. Some of y'all have ties like some of you guys are also like some of you guys could have been warriors in your past life. And in this life, you have some type of like anxiety or maybe you was diagnosed with some type of like PTSD if you're like ex-military even in this life and I definitely feel like there's some type of triggers I'm hearing triggers some of you guys could also be waking up hearing gunshots okay this I feel like this is more so for my Sagittarius men during this time some of you guys are internally conflict around matters of matters of abundance 
And there's a need you guys to rise beyond the bullshit because I definitely feel like because you guys are on the brink of some really, really, really beautiful energy and a lot of things are coming, coming, coming full circle in a positive way, like spirit is really blessing you. Any missed opportunity that there once was, you get a chance to redo them, rebalance them, re it's kind of like um the opportunity of transmutation. Like what did what have you been doing that wasn't working for you? Because you can't keep doing some of the same shit expecting different results. I definitely feel like some of you guys it definitely have to do with divine timing. But going into the month of May, you guys are going to be receiving some type of, I feel like I'm hearing change your life. So some of you guys could be coming into some type of opportunity or presented with some type of opportunity that literally is going to change your life. Some of you guys could literally be moving, okay? This is a very fertile time for Sagittarius. So if you ain't trying to get pregnant, don't be busting it down without no uh, raincoat. Put your raincoat on because it be raining, okay, in Sagittarius world. Y'all know a Sagittarius is my kryptonite. Anyway, some of you guys could also be transitioning when it comes to how you're eating. Some of you guys who are pregnant, you may be receiving some type of information, um, and I feel like you're not going to like it. Some of y'all may have to lay off the seafood during this time, or some of you guys are having to lay off of, like, processed foods or processed meats because some of you guys are, like, literally having to, like, transform into this whole vegan lifestyle, especially when it has to do with your pregnancy. And some of y'all, in turn, y'all y'all mad as hell about it. You're very argumentative about it during this time. Stop fighting people who looking out for your damn best. Good, Saggy. Stubborn, stubborn. There's a need for you not to be argumentative during this time as well because I definitely feel like there's a sense of like infinite infinite momentum and harmony in harmony within all of your projects. So for those of you who you maybe lack that confidence or maybe there's a fear of like not wanting to move forward and not wanting to leave behind people or places or things from your past because you have this sense or this perceived sense of loyalty or, or standards of loyalty that you set for yourself. Some of you guys could also be internally conflicted behind leaving the whole family situation behind due to some type of communication. But I definitely feel like the form of a transformation, a transformative, like like a transformative energy happening with the sign of Sagittarius. Like things are coming into alignment. For some of you all, you could be communicating with another fire sign. Every field Sagittarius, this could be someone who owns a business. This, this, this could have to do with like collaborating or collaborative businesses. Like, if you've been thinking about going into partnership, possibly with another fire sign, like some type of business collaboration, it does look like a good move that's going to bring. Both of you guys are in this flourishing, manif uh, manifesting, and abundant energy. Both of you guys are very fertile, as well as being in the energy of being able to manifest. So I definitely feel like it's going to be um, rapid flourish, abundant, flourishing abundance, you guys. Some of you guys could possibly be... Um, there could be arguments and fights around wills or documentations or having like having to do with money. Some of you guys feel as if it's not shared to it's not fair for you to have to share because maybe you feel like you were manipulated out of a situation or in a situation before. But there's some it's like a sense of harmony coming through the form of communication that is going to bring harmony and movement forward. It's a lot of fire in this reading. So some of y'all could be dealing with other fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's also a lot of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like someone's going to, like there's going to be some type of ignited passion or there may be, some of you guys may be dealing with some type of like, like overnight someone was changed on some shit. Some of you all, some of you all are internally conflicted about even participating in the twin. Some of y'all have elected to take yourself out the twin flame journey, but spirit got other plans. <laughs> That sounds like some saggy shit, man. I, I decided fuck the twin flame shit. It hurt my feelings and I don't like it. Fuck that. But there is a, a sense of harmony, a sense of grounding, a sense of centeredness, balance. Some of you guys, there is a focus on an inactive solar plexus. And for some of y'all, they have to do with a root chakra. If you haven't dreamed that you're killing your kids, um, death of family members and things, and then some of y'all are actually having premonitions as far as like poverty. Some of y'all could also be having, I don't know if y'all having them damn dreams about the royal, uh, the royal family like I'm having, but I don't want to talk about it. But there is this sense of flourishing, abundance. Some of you guys are going to be talking different, moving different. You're going to be coming in, reconciling with people just to realize, I don't even like you. Now I see why I have to move forward away from your ass. There's a need for you guys to release this feeling of restriction, feeling as if you have to give to situations based on, um, 
your perception around family and tradition. Because some of y'all come to terms that when I was fucked up, ain't nobody had my back. I pulled myself my own face out the dirt. So why the fuck should I listen to you? And you always calling me to pull your face out the dirt. Because every time I listen to you, I end up losing and I'm done losing. There is some type of transformation happening or some type of healing coming um, to some type of family dynamic. And for some of you all, there's like a missing piece. It's a sense of like missing piece, a missing piece of information. Some of you all could also be connecting with your ancestors out in nature. Um, and I feel like this has to do with like some form of a moon cycle. Some of y'all are also, I just saw this in a Libra reading. Some of y'all could also have Libra in your choice. But some of y'all could also be communicating like, with the stars, like you connecting with the stars, um, like getting some type of esoteric information or some type of direction from the star patterns or the star alignments, or even from the stars, the gods, y'all. Some of you guys have some type of prophecy or some type of connection with dragons. Some of you guys may also be seeing white birds signifying purity, this rebirth that is occurring. Some of you guys, there's a need for you to transition your diet and eat more fruits during this time instead of fried shit because, um, there's a there's a sense of finding like balance within the health or like some type of like internal like digestive system internally like things are off. Some of you all are finding you you're in the energy of self love and some of you guys are looking at a situation to end some type of soul contract cycle or it's like you're there's a, there's a completion but it's like. We're going to complete it in love. I definitely feel like some of you guys thought you were going to be ending a cycle with somebody, but it's kind of like only the beginning because now you and this other person or you and the other person now know how to love yourself and you found um, appreciation and like the work of the self. Like both of you guys have healed. And some of you guys, there's a closing out, there's an ending or there's like a null and voiding of a soul contract. Okay, so this could be having to do with the Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Or there is fulfillment in a soul contract. Like this person is your twin flame. This person is your life partner. This person is a past life partner where there, 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 there's this rectification. There's this alignment happening that is going to be very harmonious. You or the other person can have a life path number six. But there's a need to see things from a space of love. Some of y'all could also be connecting with water goddesses during this time. Yummy y'all. True. Or getting some type of understanding about different orishas. But I definitely see abundance is yours. I also see fulfillment and harmony um, as well as prosperity is yours. But it's, there's a need for you guys to hurdle over the negative people, the negative mindsets, okay? There's like a reprogramming of the subconscious, a reprogramming of your thought patterns that's occurring during this time. Even with how you communicate, watching the words that come out of your damn mouth. If you speak lack, then so be it. Speak life into your projects. Speak life into your desires. Speak life into your love. Speak life into anything which you want. And that is how you manifest it. Some of you guys are also um, trying to um, connect with your ancestry or connect with um, like maybe some type of priest or something to assist you and like bring like some type of coming together or mending of fences. Okay. So that's what I got for my sadness for. Spiritual messages. Let's talk about this love. Spiritual messages that we have from my beautiful From now to the end of April. I'm on my Venus. I'm going to talk about this. Matters of the heart. Finance to show up as well. That's fine. Share. 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 Someone arriving in Venus. What can they expect? Now to the end of April and love. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. For some of you all, you're in this period of solitude, trying to gain a higher perspective. Okay. For some of you all, some of y'all could also be finding out about some type of money or some type of deception around money, okay? Possibly having to do, um, possibly somebody trying to give to you and another person, okay? Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Virgo, okay? Some of you guys could also, some of you guys are in solitude. I feel like you guys are contemplating upon moving forward and actually, like, 
equally reciprocating the situation after some period of like deception or some 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 form of betrayal. Okay. Uh, for some of you all, this had to do with someone in the past, but there could have been some type of deception or some type of manipulation or some form. And, and it, again, you guys, I feel like there's an energy of wanting to move past that. This could have to do with the Gemini Libra Aquarius as well. But I definitely feel like someone could have, someone could have betrayed someone, okay, and left someone financially pretty much like to rise, out to dry and could have moved away from them. This could have been you or the other person, Sash, because I definitely see a whole lot of fire energy. And I thought it caused a lot of defenses in a situation. Someone wants to communicate. But I definitely feel like uh, some of you guys will be possibly communicating regarding or receiving some type of communication regarding this during this time. But I feel like there's this... Someone doesn't want to be rejected or someone doesn't want to feel as if they're coming back to be an option because I definitely feel a form of a reconciliation where someone wants to victoriously move forward like we can get past this. Our love can get past this. For some of you all, this is someone who you already have a spiritual marriage with. Some of y'all, this could have to do with the sign of Taurus, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all, somebody could have secluded themselves in the past, cut somebody off due to focusing on financial gains, focusing on um stability okay i definitely feel like for some of you all this could have to do with you you could be this could have to do with the mother or father of your child some of y'all this could have to do with aries pisces libra taurus virgo yeah some of you guys could also be finding out um about children during this time you could be finding out that you're pregnant okay which is going to actually move your relationship into a more um, elevated, well, a more elevated place of commitment. Some of you guys could also, um, some of y'all could be very defensive. Like there's, you want victory in a situation moving forward with the tourists, but some of y'all could be finding out, some of y'all could have been connected to somebody who was actually connected to somebody else. This person could have had a husband or a wife. Okay. I definitely feel like there could have been a situation around somebody dipping out in this third party shit, somebody going out having them some fun, and this person got pregnant, but this person is married or committed to somebody else, and you want to know if the damn child is yours, okay? But there is something I'm picking up around paternity, all right? And for some of you all, there is secrets regarding, okay, some type of child that will be expressed during this time. Either you're going to be receiving, you're going to be uh, receiving or giving that news. And for some of y'all, this could come through the form of like legal documents or the legal, like court documents, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is this fast moving energy of a solid, a solid offer being presented to someone, okay? This could have to do with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is definitely a soulmate to you all, but I definitely feel like this is after someone kind of had this in and out energy, focused on their money, this greed, this manipulation. Uh, for some of y'all, this could even have to do with the form of straight up narcissism, and I feel like somebody, somebody literally, I feel like a sense of something went too far, and some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign that possibly has to leave, like, cut out an earth sign in order for you to have, like, some type of reconciliation with your family. Some of y'all could also have somebody trying to manipulate you to come back to a family situation. There's a need for you guys to listen way more than you speak during this time because some of y'all are dealing with a very manipulative air sign. I definitely feel like this person could have manipulated you. This person could have told you that they could have children or this person uh, could have actually gotten you pregnant and then moved forward and tried to go men fences possibly in another situation from their past that could have been financially beneficial to them but the grass ain't greener on the other side and it's only pushed Sagittarius to move in their own power. So during this time, a lot of you all are standing in your own power. Some of y'all, this communication could be coming in from a Gemini or another Sagittarius, okay? And some of you guys, you're ending karmic cycles in order for you to move into new abundance cycles. I definitely feel like there's a need for you to move slowly, but there is love here. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that had you try, that was trying to bond you with some type of magic. Some of you guys are learning how to protect yourself. Like some, I'm hearing some type of, I heard, I heard electro, electro field, electro magnet, electro. Plasma. You guys learning how to play with plasma to protect y'all? I want to know shit. Let me email me. The fuck? That's some interesting shit. I need that like three like three years ago. The fuck? Some of you guys could also um some of you guys could be wanting to transform a situation possibly with an Aries person. Maybe you're feeling with this magician card here. Maybe you or a Gemini. Some of you guys are feeling uh maybe that you love this person. It's like you want to reconcile with this person. 
you've been trying to manifest this and with this 11 11 for some of y'all this could be a twin flame union that is going to be coming for us i'm about that damn libra full moon y'all i'm so, why am i hearing i wish you on the star to find out where you are i'm wishing on a dream to find out what it means so you guys could definitely be be wishing on a star during this time for reconciliation or someone could be doing this with you this could also be an aquarian but someone is going to stop resisting the relationship and allow, just take that leap of faith and stop fighting themselves and stop, move out of this indecisive energy on if they want to commit or not, if they want to transform the relationship or if they want to just stay in this energy of fighting. Someone definitely doesn't want to fight anymore. I feel like there are two people who have now transformed and they want to take this leap of faith, but both of them are resistant because neither one of the parties really know how to come back from the past. Okay, so you guys let me know how this resonates because that was deep as shit. All right, but that was for my summer rather than Venus as well as the cross watches for Saggy. You guys comment, like, share, subscribe, y'all. I love y'all long time, long time, baby. Long time, I love you. Sagi Saggy, ass long time, baby. But peace and love, many blessings, and namaste. Talk to y'all later.